Active Campaign accounts are all getting pricing and plan changes in 2024 into 2025. If you've got a new account since June, this isn't you, so you can skim over this. But if your account is from before June 2024, this impacts you. And so far, oh boy, it is confusing for Active Campaign users. The information that's coming out is kind of vague. There's a lot of it. Ah. By the end of this video, you are going to know what is happening, when it is happening, and how the changes will impact your active campaign account so that you can make an informed choice about how you spend your email marketing tech budget. So here's the summary. What is going on? Active campaigns changing the plans and prices. It's going into legacy accounts. So everyone's impacted and we're all a bit confused and concerned. So I'm here to put that right. Your business runs on active campaign. You're worried about price changes, stuff breaking. You don't need the stress and you don't need the hassle. I get it. Okay. And you don't need anything derailing you or catching you out. So I'm here to inform you, give you the facts and explain it clearly. And that way you can be prepared for when this comes. You can make the best possible informed choice for your business and not pay any more than you need to. And you don't need to hit the panic button. OK, so here's the quick rundown of what's changed. We're going into a different plans model. We now have starter plus pro and enterprise increasing in price in that order. We've got add ons. So bundles gone. If you had bundle, you're going to be saying goodbye to bundle. Nobody's sad about this, by the way. There are two add-ons that you can get. There's some others as well. I'm going to stick to the main ones, sales engagement and pipelines. We'll talk some more about that later on. And to work out your pricing, again, it's changed. You're going to need to take into account the plan level, which add-ons you have, what your contact limit is, and how many user seats you need. That's people who have a login to active campaign. Now, look, I know you. Are how you, I know this is confusing. I get it. Listen, I've put it all together in a blog, right? There are tables in there that show you which features go to which plan in the new model so that you can just go and look quietly in your own time and work out where you sit in all of this. It's all in the blog. So head to the blog, slickbusiness.co forward slash pricing. I know how you're feeling. I get it. Feel free to tell me in the comments. The big question I know loads of you have is when is this happening? Because Active Campaign is not making it terrifically clear to users. If you pay Active Campaign directly for your account, it's going to happen on your next billing date after the 5th of August. So if you pay monthly, that means you're, this, is gonna, this change is coming to you somewhere between the 5th of August and the 5th of September. If you pay annually, it might not be until nearly the 5th of August in 2025. Okay, so annual customers have a bit longer. Monthly customers, here it comes, coming at you right now. But you need some time to budget, to sort out your budget and make decisions. So I get that this is stressful. You need to find your next billing date. Go do that now. If you've already done it, tell me in the comments, give me a thumbs up to tell me you've already done this because that's when your plan will be migrated. Uh, and you're going to get some notice on that. You're going to get about 14 days notice. And that means that you get a little bit of time. So at least now you know when it's coming for you. Okay. So annual people, you, I know you're breathing a sigh of relief right now because you don't have to think about this quite yet. Okay. Big question is what goes where in the new plans? And I know that it has been really difficult for active campaign users to assess what does this mean for me and my active campaign account? I am here to help you with that so that you can make an informed decision because you actually know what your options are. Again, I'm going to flash up this pricing blog here. Well, not that one. I'm going to flash up the pricing blog because that's where the, the features table is there. Right. So I've got this broken down in features across those four new plan levels. The, the levels that you can choose, Starter, Plus, Pro and Enterprise, but they're not the same as the old levels called Plus, Pro and Enterprise. All right. They are not the same. And things are moving around quite a lot. Here's what's going to happen. Active Campaign is going to make you 14 days before your billing date it's going to make you a migration offer. They're using that word migration. In that email, they're going to set out which of the new plans you need to be on so that you don't lose anything that you have actively been using. That includes the stuff that's in the add-ons, the stuff that's in the new plan levels and any user seats. So if you've got a filled user seat, they're going to price it all up for you. And you know what? They're going to give you a really nice big discount as well on it. 
all right? Because nobody is supposed to be going up more than 30%. Now, look, I know we all hate price increases, but let's get real about this. Pricing is going up across the whole sector. Active campaign is capping the price increase, so nobody should see more than 30%. So 14 days ahead of your billing date, you're going to get an email. The old light plan is going, okay? No more old light plan. It's gone, thrown away. There is a new plan. The lowest price one is called Starter. It comes with one user. If you're on the light plan, you are highly unlikely to get invited to migrate to Starter because frankly, there's not a lot you can do in there in the way of automation. You would probably be recommended instead to move to the new plus plan and your increase, if any, would be capped at 30% more than what you're paying now. That's the maximum. All right. If you are on the old plus plan, there are a couple of significant changes in there compared to the new one. Conditional content is moving out of plus. So are start and end automations and so is the perform maths function, which is one of my personal favorites. If you move out from old plus, you'll be moving probably into new plus, but maybe if you want one of those significant things, maybe you'll be moving into the new pro plan with active campaigns, migration suggestion. They're gonna look and see what are you actively using in the account right now, and they're gonna make a recommendation. Their migration offer is going to make sure that you keep all of those features. If you are on the old pro plan, not a lot is changing. You will almost certainly be recommended to move into the new pro plan because there's not much difference there, but notice that gets three users, it gets more users. And the same is true for enterprise. If you're on the old enterprise plan, there's not a lot changing. They're going to recommend you go to the new enterprise. Job done. Nothing major going on. Here's the thing. When you get that pricing email, your migration email 14 days ahead of your next billing date after the 5th of August, if you do nothing, they're going to migrate you to the plan that they've recommended. None of your features will be lost. You'll keep everything that you had. You've got all the same toys to play with. Onwards we go. Okay, so that's what happens if you do nothing. All right. And I just want to uh, make sure that you know who I am at this point. This is me. This is Auntie Kay. My business is Slick Business. And yeah, I'm like the world leading expert on active campaign stuff. I have all these crazy credentials. I'm on the customer advisory board and stuff. So you're in a safe place. Oops, that wasn't meant to show then. Let's get rid of that. Um, I help active campaign users make more money in less time using active campaign and make sure they don't pay too much for it, which is what this video is about. If you're loving this and you've had some aha moments already, which I'm sure you have, I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel right now. Um, okay, let's talk about what happens if you don't happen to have 30% extra budget to spend on active campaign right now at short notice because you've only got 14 days notice. They're going to give you your migration offer via email. It'll be in your billing portal. You take a look, you're like, oh, I don't actually have that much money and I don't actually need to have conditional content right now. So actually, do you know what? I'm going to make a different choice. What happens if you want to do that because you haven't got the extra budget? You do want to stay with active campaign because migration is a massive pain and you don't want to do it, but you do need to court uh, bring the payment down and not get caught out and pay more than you, than you need. That, in this specific context, is called a downgrade. And if you want to downgrade, let's say you are on old plus plan, active campaign, have recommended that you move to new pro, but actually you're thinking, do you know what? I can make do with new plus. That's called a downgrade. And you are going to have to get in touch with active campaign ahead of that migration date. Remember, that's your next billing date after the 5th of August. Get in touch with them from the billing page. Click the button that says get in touch and say, I want a different combination. Here's what I want. Price it up for me. OK, that's called a downgrade. You will lose some features if you do that. You're going to lose something. You might lose some lo uh, user seats. You might reduce your contact limit. You might lose conditional content or the math step. There is a lot of feature movement in there. And while I'm talking about feature movement, I am just going to flash up that blog again. All the details of where stuff goes into which plan levels is on that blog. If you choose to downgrade, yes, you can plan ahead. Yes, there are workarounds for a lot of these things. There are workarounds for used maths. Maybe you've got more and more user seat with your PA who left you three years ago sitting there and you don't need it. That's fine. You're going to have to tell Active Campaign about that and ask them to price it up for you. Okay, I am here for you, all right? I want to make sure that nobody's paying more than they need to. 
If you are not already on our email list, I want you to go ahead and get on our email list right now because we are sending out frequent emails to make sure that everyone knows. I say frequent, it's like twice a week, not like badgering you in your inbox. We're sending out emails with all of the updates on this. So get on our email list. That's at slickbusiness.co forward slash emails. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is the people who are thinking, you know what, I'm done. Active campaign can go and I'm going to go with some other provider. Okay, here's the thing. If you want to be Serene Steve here who glides through their business life and grows their business successfully, you need the tech to do the heavy lifting for you. And the tech does not come cheap. Prices are going up all over the industry. I know that from where you're sitting right now, for some of you looking at that 30% increase that you are may be facing, you're thinking, this is too much. The grass looks greener. The other platforms are more stable. Their deliverability, blah, 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 blah. I get it. Okay. Everyone has those in that this emotional reaction. It affects your money, your business processes. You've got to think about the know-how that you've already invested into your team, the process that you processes that you have already invested in your team. The fact that the other platforms will be putting up their prices too, because this is an industry-wide change. This is not just active campaign, guys. We've been having this lovely ride with email tech being cheaper than it should be, really, to be honest. And now everything's adjusting. The market has matured. Everything's adjusting. So other platforms are going up as well. And I'm just going to throw in my favorite topic, email deliverability. If you move platforms, your email deliverability will be impacted. If you have integrations, you will probably break one or two in the move because that's what happens with the best will in the world. Stuff breaks when you move platforms. So I just want you to remember the value in Active Campaign. Active Campaign is a clone army. If I didn't have Active Campaign in my business, I would need probably at least three full time employees which I don't have. There's just me running slick business and some part-time employees and my husband who makes the tea. Okay. Active campaign can do this enormous amount of stuff for you. If you compare it to the cost of hiring in full-time help in your business, it's an, it's just not a, it's not a decision you have to think about. Active campaign, even with a 30% increase on what you're paying now is going to be less money than that. You have got a lot of knowledge that is with you right now. And I know that the emotional response to any price hike and any change is that we feel annoyed and irritated and we're mad at the people who are making us go through that change. That's the normal human response. What I'm just going to advise you to do as a mature business person is to take the smart strategic viewpoint, be analytical about it, look at your options and make an informed decision because informed, strategic, non-emotional decision-making will always win in business. That's how you win the game of growing your business, being a successful entrepreneur. Okay, that was a lot. I'm just going to flash up that blog again. Okay, so that's the blog where you can find a pricing table that actually makes sense to real humans. You can, I'm sorry, there's an aeroplane flying past right now. Thank you, aeroplane. If you can still hear me, I'm going to keep going. The pricing blog has the full features breakdown. It has a pricing table that you can actually make sense of. Oh, and I'm just going to mention before I close out the add-ons. This is an important bit. If you had bundle before, that's now become these two add-ons. And something that a lot of people are not realizing is the pipelines add-on is actually contained inside the sales engagement add-on. So you get one or the other. You don't need both of these. Okay. Pipelines add-on, that's your deals and CRM stuff, lives inside the sales engagement. So if you're going to get sales engagement, you don't need to get pipelines as well. Everyone in my Active Campaign Academy is going to get all the help they could possibly need with all of this decision making. We've got a ton of amazing resources in there inside the Active Campaign Academy. If you want to find out more about that, that's at slickbusiness.co forward slash learn. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want you to hit subscribe to this channel. I am here for you because my mission is to help all of you make more money in less time with Active Campaign without crying or swearing or giving up. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time. Bye.